Happy evening, my friend. I'm so happy you're here. I want you to just take a nice breath in with me. Palms up, shoulders back. <sighs> so why do I do these videos every morning and every night? Because I'm training my muscles to always be in the receiving mode. And I make the videos to help you train your muscles to always be in the receiving mode. And if we're in the receiving mode, our creation is exploded out of us. It just explodes. And my goal as a book medium and a writing coach and a publisher is that everybody I work with, their creation is just a hundred X, a thousand X, a million X, that they're just in the fullest of their creation always. And when they are, they become a channel for the work that is here for them. And it is beautiful and it is magical and it is so much easier. And that's why I make these videos. So I want you to jump in with me tonight. I want you to drop into your heart. And we're going to see what work comes through. So I want you to breathe in. And out. Whew. Feels like we got some dance moves coming in. Okay, that was new. All right, move however you need. If your neck needs to move. Whew. Ah, there we go. Pop those shoulders up and down, getting into the body. Whew. We're gonna imagine this really beautiful light right above the crown of your head. You're gonna breathe it in. Breathe it all the way down your body, cleaning, cleansing, clearing it out through the soles of your feet. Whew. Breathing in the light again. Letting go of anyone's energy that's attached to you that you picked up today that's not serving you, letting it all the way out Whew. through the soles of your feet. There we go. Oh, we're going to create this really beautiful shield of light around you to protect you, to infuse you with light. So let's call in your angels, your guides, your leaders, those who are here to support you right here, right now in your purpose, your work, your mission. We're going to invite them all in and into the divine light to come and hold space with us, oh, to lead us, to guide us, to direct us. We're going to ask the light will touch our ears so we can spiritually hear what needs to be heard. The light will touch our third eye that will have access to all of our spiritual gifts. The light will cleanse our lips that we speak only what needs to be spoken. So we're going to open up our hearts. We're going to listen. What is the practice tonight? Oh, damn. Shame? Really? <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping for an easy practice tonight. Guess not. It's shame. And you know what? Sure, let's change my perspective on the shame. But shame is deep and shame is ugly and shame is heavy. But don't you dare turn this off because when we clear out shame, creation is on the other side. Oh, that makes sense. Do you like that you're just here with me as I talk to myself? <laughs> Join me. So did you notice that when we started our practice, it was all about creation? Well, there's one thing that clogs creation, and it's shame. Of course, tonight is a practice on shame. Of course it is. All right, so breathe in with me. And we're going to breathe this really beautiful orange light into the sacral chakra. This is your lower belly. This is where shame lives, which is crazy because it is the most powerful center in your body. It is where you create from. It's also where shame comes in and blankets it and hides it and distracts you with feeling really crappy because shame feels really crappy. Actually, on the energetic scale, shame is the lowest energy below death. So if zero is death and a thousand is like ascension, Christ, shame is right above the energy of death, which is why when we are in shame, we feel like death. When we feel horrible and we feel stuck and we don't want to live, shame is messy. But when you clean it out, you get to dance in all your magic of creation, which is one of the highest vibrational frequencies on the energetic scale. Of course, right? So let's breathe some orange light into that sacral chakra.
There we go. So now with your eyes closed, dropping your eyes down into your heart, down into the lower belly, all the way down to that sacral chakra. You're gonna ask, what have you felt shame around? You're gonna see it, you're gonna hear it, you're gonna witness it, feel it, know it. You're gonna wrap each one up and you're gonna hand it over to God. Put it on the altar. So we have altar between our heart and God's heart. You're gonna put it on the altar. God, you gotta take that one from me. I am no longer carrying shame around that. What's the next thing? <laughs> okay, maybe they make you laugh like mine do. That's okay, it's okay. Hand it on the altar. God, I am no longer feeling shame for this. Picking it up. What is the next thing that you're feeling shame around? Wrap it up, put it on the altar. God, I am asking you to take this. I will not carry this any longer. Last one. Let's see if there's one more thing of shame. Oh, this one's heavy. This one's like a boulder. It's <laughs> a big one right there. Okay. We're going to wrap it in light. We're going to put it on the altar. And we're going to ask God to take it from us. Whew. Letting it go, letting it go, cutting any cords that are attached to that, and that you need it, that you need the shame, that without the shame, like we're just clearing it out, we're clearing it out, we're clearing it out. Now there's a little bit of fear that's poking up. So we're going to ask the divine light to come in and gather in all this fear, wrap it in so much unconditional love, <sighs> wrapping it. And then we're gonna hand that over to God. Ooh, I want you to feel that release. You should feel, you shouldn't, I hate the word should. You may feel a relief in your body. You may feel a release of tension. And you may feel more freedom of breath. <sighs> so now that we've cleared out the shame, we're gonna go in and I want you to imagine the divine light coming in and like, what is that called? <laughs> A defibrillator? Sure. The one that you put on people's hearts and it wakes them up after they have had a heart attack. We're using the same kind of energetic <sighs> but with divine light on the sacral chakra. And it's, I'm hearing it. Okay, yeah, there's three breaths in that are quick, three breaths out that are quick. We're gonna do that three rounds, ready? So. <sighs> Place your hands on that lower belly. Asking your sacral chakra, what is it that you want to create? What do you want to create? What do you want to create? What do you want to create? You're going to hear it. You're going to see it. You're going to feel it. And if you can't hear, see, or feel, you're gonna put this prayer up to God as you sleep, that you'll be shown in your dreams or when you wake up, what it is that you are here to create right now. And we're gonna call on your angels and ask that they will help you, that anytime shame wants to sneak back in, that they will alert you and help you see that it is here, so that you are aware and that it has no hold on you. And then, we're gonna ask your angels to help you create the space and time to be in this magical creation. <sighs> there we go, there we go, there we go. All right, my friend. Pouring so much love your way. Sending you off with my love. And I will see you in the morning.